by the station early in the morning. See the yellow puffer bellies all in a row. Or the little crocodile. See the engine driver standing by the station. Poop, poop, no. off we go. Culturally deprived that she didn't yes. uh, really get to meet all the people the from The thing all about the around. private school is that she will meet Negroes and Puerto Ricans and so on and, uh, to a small extent because they'll all be the same economic background. Mm -hmm. But uh, I wouldn't want I to marry like one. I don't like it. I don't like the brown hair. I like the white hair. <laughs> Well, I think 
they're inevitable, and I think they're, they're, you know, like the Negroes need to do that kind of stuff in order to, unfortunately, in order to, you know, make white people the same thing, like to prove that they have military power in a sense, and that they're, uh, you know, like you have to listen to them. I think the riots here would have happened anyway, probably, because, I mean, people say, if we didn't have the war, we'd be spending the money to, you know, to develop the, the ghettos and stuff, but I doubt it. Well, do you think because the Negroes are scared to fight? Oh, no. No, I, I think because they feel that they don't have anything really to fight for. Oh, then there is a relationship between the Negroes and the Negroes. Yeah, yeah. Right well, yeah. In the, well, in the sense that they, most of them, well, I think that there's a much bigger percentage of Negro me over there in ratio to the population than, than yeah. white. My brother got killed by, by a soldier. No, it's not a war stock. Yeah, but you wouldn't really care for But I wouldn't, I wouldn't. At this, I, you know, I wouldn't buy a war stock. Yeah. Why? Because I'm against war. Yeah, but not even to make money. a lot of money. Not even. <laughs> no, I wouldn't buy a war stock. Do you have stock? No, I don't have it. You wouldn't buy any? If I had the money, I might. <laughs> <laughs> I was born, a very a good Jewish friend of ours was over one night, and I was asking Sam about circumcision, and he said, oh, you don't circumcise, that's stupid, are you Jews? No. So you don't circumcise your son, why should you, it's just Does a... Does he have a son? He has two sons. Are they he circumcised? Held, of course, he held them through the bris, he well, says what it was hurts. It? Well, you don't have a bris. We didn't have we a bris. We don't have a bris, no, but it still hurts the kid. <laughs> Stay dear, Foley. 